So you were excited to dive into stable diffusion and create some amazing visuals until you got hit with one of those annoying errors. Running stable diffusion can be quite a challenge, especially on MacBooks and computers with low-end GPUs. Now even if you somehow manage to make it work on a low-end computer, the generative process can drag on for hours. Before you lose any hope, let me tell you there is a solution and in this video I'm gonna show you how to run stable diffusion on pretty much any device even a smartphone and the best part is it's super easy and you don't need any coding knowledge or complicated setup. To get started head over to this website thinkdiffusion.com and click on get started. Once you sign up for a new account you will get to run stable diffusion on the classic automatic 1111 interface. Right now Think Diffusion has two different machines for you to choose from. The most important difference between the two is the GPU VRAM. Now the hourly rate is a bit different as well but honestly both are really good deals and I will explain why later in the video. When you sign up for a brand new account you get to try Think Diffusion for free. This free of charge balance gives you around 30 minutes of runtime on the fast machine. I'm going to use the rapid machine for this video. If you run out of balance you can click here to add more funds, you can use the link below to sign up and when you deposit your first $10 you will get an additional 50%. That means an extra $5 to give you 10 more hours on the fast machine or 3 more hours on the rapid one. The auto stop timer is a really smart feature, you can set a limit for your session to help manage your time and budget. Let me set a time for this session and hit launch and it should only take a little over a minute to get things going. This gives me enough time to say thank you to each and every one of you. It's amazing that we're getting closer and closer to reaching 300,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so because I have tons of awesome content and tutorials on the way. All right, so we are in and as you can see, the automatic 1111 interface is all loaded up and good to go. And like I mentioned earlier, the cool thing is that you can run this on your phone too. The most popular extensions like the forum are already there when you start. And if you want even more, you can go to the extensions tab and easily install them from there. Now note that if you restart your session after installing new extensions, you will have to reinstall them again but I was told that this issue will be taken care of in upcoming updates. On the right hand side we have the browsing tab where you can upload files and access your image and video outputs. You might have noticed that most popular models are preloaded and ready to use which is pretty cool because you don't have to worry about storing massive checkpoint files on your computer and if you want to use a model that's not on the list you can easily add it in. Just go to A1111 models and open stable diffusion. Here you can directly upload a model file or you could go with my personal favorite method and just paste the link to your chosen model. For instance, let's say I wanna use this model from Civit AI. All you gotta do is right click the download button, copy the link address and paste it here. Then hit refresh on the models list and just like that, the model is good to go. And yes, you can also add LoRa models using the same method. Up top, you can easily keep track of and tweak the remaining time in your current session. So what I want to do now is test Think Diffusion by using it to recreate a section of my most popular Deforum animation. Then I will compare the speed with running the same settings locally. So let's see how long it takes and how much it costs to generate a video with Think Diffusion. You might have seen this before in my other Deforum tutorial. Feel free to watch that video first if you want to key in the settings yourself and understand how it affects your animation output. I will skip all of that and load the video settings file directly into Think Diffusion. To do that, I'm gonna head back to the main folder. Then let's click on the upload button over here, select the settings file. And by the way, you can download this file from my Patreon and I will drop the link in the description box. After uploading, simply click here to copy the file URL, then paste it here and click on load all settings. Also remember that you will need to point the forum to the correct init image from which our animation will start. To do this, click on upload, select the init image, copy the image link, 
and paste it right here. Another thing we can do to adjust the length of the animation is to head over to the keyframes tab and reduce the number of frames. I'm gonna go with 300 instead, which is just enough for this demo. Previously, I used the rev animated model for the animation. So let's go ahead and select the same model from the list over here. At this point, we are good to go and we can proceed by clicking on generate. After a few seconds into the process, we're about 5% done and it seems like we have around 20 minutes left. This looks really promising considering the number of frames we have to work with. Now, I currently have a 24 gigabyte GPU at home, which allowed me to test it against Think Diffusion to ensure that their machine is in fact running a GPU with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. And it turns out it's pretty legit. And that's based on the processing time shown in this comparison. And since this runs on the cloud, you can expect the same performance of Think Diffusion on your phone or pretty much any other device. Now, if you want to check out the output images, just head over to A1111, open outputs folder, from there open image to image and you will see your deforum folder. Inside, you will find all the individual frames that have been generated. So during the process, the estimated time did go up and down, but in the end, it only took 20 minutes. That's roughly four seconds per frame, which is super fast. And the best part is the processing time only cost me about 50 cents. Now, if you go back to the output folder, you will also find the final animation video, which you can easily download onto your computer. So if you're using Think Diffusion on your phone, you can just download the video and easily share it on your social media accounts. Currently, you can only access these output files while running a machine on Think Diffusion. However, a great upcoming feature is the ability to access your file storage without having to launch a machine. So I decided to run the exact same settings on the fast machine. But before I share the comparison results, it's important to note that it's totally normal for the animations to look different on each run. As you know, the forum generates different visuals every time. However, these differences in outputs shouldn't really affect the comparison results. What really matters here is that we use the exact same settings. Since the fast machine uses less VRAM than the rapid one, it makes sense that the process took longer this time. It took around 50 minutes to generate all the frames, and that's about 10 seconds per frame or 40 cents in US dollars. That being said, if you prefer spending more time setting up and tweaking settings while spending less of your balance, the fast machine is the better option. However, if you are experienced or have a ready to load settings file, rapid machine is definitely the better choice as it runs much faster. And to take the comparison even further, I ran the same settings on a laptop with eight gigabytes of GPU VRAM and it took around one hour and 20 minutes to process. It's clearly a lot slower and it's important to keep in mind that it was difficult to use the laptop for other tasks while running the forum. The laptop overheats and lags a lot and running other software will slow down the process. This is a major drawback of running stable diffusion locally if you don't have a powerful machine. Since I set the resolution to 720p, the animation quality was a bit low. And to fix this, you can choose to enable the upscale setting in the forum before generating. But keep in mind that this will add extra time to the process. Alternatively, you can use another software called Topaz Video AI to upscale and enhance your deforum animations. This method saves you more time and gives you much more control over the upscaling settings. For example, here I chose to upscale the 720p video to 4K and the results were really impressive. If you're interested in learning more about Stable Diffusion or other creative AI software, make sure you check out more videos on my channel. Other than that, stay creative and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.